Eosin and nigrosin stains in combination are used to differentiate between life and dead cells against a dark background through the principle of preferential or dye exclusion staining. It is the most commonly used stain combination to check for sperm cell viability in a one-step process in routine semen analysis. The dead sperm cells easily take up the eosin stain and appear pinkish to reddish in color when viewed under the microscope. The live sperm cells, on the other hand, appear colorless to very faint pink. The nigrosin dye stains the background black and gives a good visual of the differentially stained sperm cells against a dark stained background. In this video, we'll go through the step-by-step -step process on how to prepare ready-to-use eosin and nigrosin stain solutions in the lab. Specifically, we'll be preparing 50 ml each of 1% eosin stain and 10% nigrosin stain solutions, which are the most widely used stain concentrations for sperm viability test. To prepare the stain solutions, we'll require the following. Water-soluble eosin stain powder. Water-soluble nigrosin stain powder. Distilled water. Two beakers of 100 ml capacities. A 50 ml measuring cylinder. Weighing scale stirring rods, glass funnels, two containers with tight fitting caps for storing the prepared stain solutions. To prepare 50 ml of 1% eosin, weigh 0.5 grams of water-soluble eosin powder using a weighing scale. Transfer it into a beaker containing 50 ml of distilled water. Stir to dissolve the stains completely. Transfer and store the solution in a clean dry bottle containing an appropriate label. Now prepare 50 ml of 10% nigrosin stain. Weigh approximately 5 grams of nigrosin water soluble stain powder on a weighing scale. Transfer the stain into a beaker containing 50 ml of distilled water. Stir the contents until the stain is completely dissolved. In the case of nigrosin stain, heating the contents of the beaker to about 50 degrees Celsius will speed up the dissolution process. Once the stain has completely dissolved, allow the solution to cool down and transfer it into a clean dry bottle for storage. Give appropriate label to the container. The two stain solutions thus prepared are now ready to be used in viability testing.